Hey guys, it's me, Chucky Greenwood, here again, and today, today is September 1st, 2020, and in less than 20 days, it'll, it'll mark my, uh, five-year anniversary on YouTube, because I joined on YouTube on September 21st, 2015, and in honor of that, I'm going to be doing a, uh, 2020 edition of my Disney VHS collection, which, as, like, my Disney VHS collection wasn't the first video I did when I first joined YouTube, and I thought I'd do a do a third time because I did, did reach those again the last year in 2019 and I do it again, again again this year on my five year anniversary and I'm just going to start off all the financial tapes because as you can see this is as this is actually not not all of them I'm just going to show them in separate batches so anyway let's just start the first tape tape so we're trying to get started here and the first tape that I'm going to show you is the 992 Holt Disney Classic Ski Chest of 101 Dalmatians you can see here it's fine Back it says, "Great storytelling on a scale one to ten. This one gets 101. My Good Morning America. So, you can see with the tape, it's got an ink label, and it looks like there's two different dates, which are January 3rd, 1992, and April 3rd, 1992. Well, at least I think there is. I think because those are just two different dates." As they're going to be just of 101 Dalmatians. Next up, we got uh, the live action 101 Dalmatians with Glenn Close. It's Carl Deville. Dear, it's fine. Back says 101 on scale of 10. Glenn Close is Winslow and Joe Siegel Good Morning America. We have to take the ink label and what the print date is. Uh, March 16th, 1997. Okay. Is he just the live action Harmon Dalmatians? Next up, we got the sequel 102 Dalmatians. Meet two little heroes with a bone to pick. And we'll wait see here's the spine back. And no, there is also a sequel to the original 101 Dalmatians, which is 101 Dalmatians 2 Patch Little Adventure, which I, I, I do do have that that move move that movie on on the DVD channel. I have have it on on VHS though. We have to see it's got a pretty cool sticker label in. There's some tape here. The, the lens is kind of loose. I have to take it back on. And the print date is uh, February twenty second, two thousand one. Okay, so there's a tape of one hundred and two dollar donations. Next day, I think we have here is uh, the Adventure of the Aquatic Master Toad, the University Edition, Walt Disney Master Collection VHS, and this is the last set of always in the Masterpiece Collection line. Let's switch to the Gold Classic Collection. Some of the finest work this year ever did by Leonard Walt Malton. Fantastic Fantasy with Walt Disney Magic Way, Fenris Cook, Chris Cook Chronicle. What's up? Here's the tape, the ink label. The print date is uh, April. Uh, 8th, 1999. Uh, today, just be the Mr. Toad. Next up, we got uh, Airbud, your visible by KNX CBS Radio. Dear Spine. Back says, I want to be like than me. Could you get up by Newsday Kids Day? What's up? Here's the date with some ink label on the Print it is uh, October 9th, 1998, so this is actually a later printing of the tape that you from 1997. And so here are the films are the PG as well as on the on the cover to this, this movie's actual rating. And I know in the early printing of 1997, the label has an error saying, it's saying that, 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 that the movie is rated PG 13, but this is the later re, 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 the later printing that, that has the the that has, has the rating error fixed. Here it is, the just of the of Airbud. And next up, we got sequel, the uh, Airbud Golden Receiver. You and your kids will love this movie by Kansas City Sun. See, here's the spine. Back says, a fun movie with a real white Virginia Woolf's Hollywood in it. It has, like, not fringe with shell, so this, this probably was part of a, this wasn't initially really part of a, part of a multi-tape set, but I got this VHS set separately from Good, Good, Goodwill. Here's the tape ink label on the print date is November 20th, 1998. Um, it would be just an airbag golden receiver. Next up, we got uh, 
Airbud spikes back. Features Grove Beach Football Champion Grave Your Old Release. He's got the gold touch. You know that there is also an Airbud World Pup and Sammy Tank patch, which I, I don't have those ones just yet, but I will, will get them soon. He has the coolest player under the sun. Now let me uh, open this up. David's got an ink label on a blue lid. And the print date is uh, May 19th, 2003. There is the just of Airbud Spikes back. And now next up we got uh 1923 VHS of Aladdin. Walt Disney Classic. Zero at the spine. Back it says Film Wonder is amazing. There ain't been in a film like this since the Los Angeles Times. It came with this like, thing running the digital and Aladdin soundtrack. So this is just a full port expired as the tape's over over 20 years old. Same way as the tape with the ink label and the Print due to July 7th, 1993. Now I get this back in here. I want this, this, this little paper. Now, yeah, next up, we got uh, Len the King of Thieves starring Ron Williams, which I also have the, the Tragic Bar, but I'll show that in another part. Is like that, that, that does not have the Len name on it. And this features the return of the late Ron Williams as a genie, as he did not reprise his role in, in Return to Far. So you're fine. Back and it's not for individual sales. Like, it was also part of the part of the part of the, the box set. Which, again, like the Airbud Airbud VHS, like I got this tape separately from a good good good, good, good little store. Do you get the tape with the label on the right? It is July twelfth, nineteen ninety six. Here goes the of the Latin King, King of Thieves. And the next tape we have is a. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, this is 1994 Walt Disney Metrics Collection VHS. It's mine. Back it says, just pretty charming, truly remarkable by Stereo Day Review. You can see the tape with the ink label and the print date is uh, August 13th, 1994. So this is a, 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 an er, 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 earlier printing as this tape has the source for the Mickey logo at the beginning instead of the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. There goes the Adventures of Alice in Wonderland. Next up, we got uh, American Legends Classic Stories of Great American Heroes. That's Paul Bunyan, John Henry, John Appleseed, and the Brave Engineer. Spine. Back. It says the same thing John Henry, Paul Bunyan, John Appleseed, and the Brave Engineer. Here's the tape with the ink label on the blue lid. Print date is January 14th, 2002. Let's see if the camera can refocus. Here's the American Legends. Next up, we got uh, Angels in the Outfield with Jane Bubber, Tony Danza, and Christopher Lloyd. But I don't worry for me, Vegeta and Shaw at the Today Show. Spine. Back is when you're just a little dream of hit by the movie, the movie minute. Tape with an ink label. The print date is uh, June 1st, 1995. This is just of Angels in the Outfield. Next tape we have is uh, the Risk Cast, the uh, 1996 Walt Disney Master Question VHS. Here's the spine. Back to us. First thing it seems with Rich Something Fun by Entertainment Today. Here is the tape with the ink label, and this was a former album from a Red Draft video store. And the print date is uh, March 18th, 1996. So you can't really see it clear because of like the sticker in the way. And this is again, this is a tape former album from a Red, Red, Red Draft video store. <laughs> so here goes this VHS of the Aristocats. Next tape we have is uh, Atlantis Lost Empire. These is the THX certified. See here at the spine. The back. So it's funny exciting by the Washington Post. Mm. Tape with the ink label on the blue lid. This is an early printing from uh, December 20th, 2001. This is actually 2002 VHS. And uh, here's the print date again because you can't see it clearly. And then my ca ca camera won't we'll, 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 we'll focus here. We can't really see what it was December 20th, 2001. Um, that when I lost Empire. 
next up we got the uh, Bambi. This is the what was classic? This is the what was the last time classic VHS from from 1989. It's fine. Back. This is a per per no classic seen by every generation. Remembered long after other movies have been brought by Audrey Rip the Shikshito sometimes. Take the sticker label and the. There is some printing on here, like red printing, but there doesn't seem to be a, be a, be a print date, date, date on here. Because this is an, an old, old, older VHS. This is a... Now next up we got the Flat uh, Vision Television VHS of Beauty and the Beast. If you're going to see what's in THX from 2002, it's fine. Back at Reese. Tale of the Time is new again. That's a fully restored and remastered with the only music soundtrack. You can sure to find an old new music video. He's like Pop Sensation and Jump 5. Got the tape with a blue lid and an ink label. And the print date is August 14th, 2002. And it came with some promotional stuff like we are you guess to Enchanted Savings. Like that thing for being the beast on Broadway and uh, find three is DVD or videos and get, 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 get one free. Uh, Safe by Dodge Mute from the original 1992 VHS to this VHS. Main person, Disney like CDs and main for Disney re really long storybooks. He's in Chain Christmas on just new D. Disney uh, Christmas Castle, Wilson Hasbro, Disney uh, Music Box, uh, Disney World Vacation thing, Disney on Ice, uh, Radio Disney, uh, Disney, uh, Toon Disney, Mom Disney on video, and Leo and Stitch on video. And this thing, like a Disney Club or Judy and Studio kits that you can get for like all, all three Beauty, Beauty and the Beast movies. I don't have the sequels of Candy Crypt and Bell's Natural World yet, but I will try to get, get, get those as soon as I can. That's a great the VHS chest of Beauty and the Beast. And next up, we got uh, Mets of Schoolhouse Rock, the 3th anniversary edition, and includes top 25 Schoolhouse Rock songs voted by fans. Spawn. Next is conjunction, junction, what's your function? Huh. Pretty funny. So then that's got the songs are conjunction, of course, and just a bit of a lot of chapter to your electricity, electricity, introduction is the preamble. Pretty much number and planet Janet. A new announced first place for the thing, the shot. You're on the road anymore. You're just boofing an all new song called I'm going to send your boat to college. But you need it's a homemade sticker label because, like, Tape actually has a has a dark sticker label, but you can kind of see part of it. It's like and it's actually like upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. And I tried to peel it off and put it the wrong way, but things out of control. So I did, I, I I just used this. You, you just you 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 the, the, use this as like a label from a label from a, from a recording tape. Yes. There got the homemade label back on in the part it is August 5th, 2002. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this label's peeling off, yeah. Yes, if we get back in there. Yeah, so there we got this tape of beauty. Best school lost rock. Next up we got a uh, the brave little toaster. A normal editor that kids will trigger by Chicago sometimes. It's fine. The back says Disney's parent presents a parent's choice award winner. We had the next label on the it is February 17th, 1996, so I'm guessing this is a later reprint as my my time for videos of Alice in Wonderland actually has a, uh, has a, has a, has a free review for this tape. So we've got the VHS of the Brave Little Toaster. Next up we've got the sequel. Brave Little Toaster goes to Mars and I'll do feature like movie. Spine. That is inspired by the early plain French Whistler winner Brave Little Toaster. This tape's got a dark sticker label. And the print date is March 28th, 1978. Here, let's be 
just Rail Twister goes to the Mars. Next so up, we got the third one Rail Twister to the rescue. See your spine. The back says, The Rail Twister version with this fun Bill Pal chapter has a sticker in the way. It's like, This is a former Blockbuster rental. See here, this tape's got an ink label on the front. It is April 1st, 1990s, part of the former Blockbuster sticker right there. So this is the tape, too. This tape was a former Blockbuster rental. And I noticed that there's actually, like, like no mention of the Walt, the Walt the Disney home video name, name, name on, on, on here. Yeah, it's kind of weird, I must say. Next up, we got uh, Bugs Life. Again, T Tech certified. And this is the variant that has Heimlock on the cover. Here's the spine. Back it says, Here's who has hilarious how to go see in theaters. And it's got the most figures. You got three years game shorts and then a VP guitars in. And three years game won the best game short 1997 award. I said, This is the variant that, that, that has, has Heimlock on the cover. And there are also other variations that have either Flick, Francis Dot, or Hopper on the cover. But this is the one that has Heimlock on the cover. Let's take the ink label, and the murder date is March 25th, 1999. Mm. Yeah, so you got this VHS of Bugs Life. Next up, we got uh, Buzz Lightyear Star Command the Future again, starring Tim Allen and the featuring the star of Toy Story. Spine in the back, all new feature like the movie and Tim Penny Beyond. Like, Ending song for it. William Chapter in the Star Wars Command Chorus. We got the tape with an ink label on the print date is uh, June 21st, uh, 2000. Well, you can't really kind of see it well, but the can camera is not focusing right now. Mm. Here's the features of Buzz Lightyear Star Command. The adventure begins. Next up, we got the. Uh, the well, Disney classic features of Cinderella from, from 1988. That's fine. Back. Sheer joy in Channing White USA Today. You can see it from the label and the, there seems to be a no print date on this tape. I have seen some dark red printing, but it doesn't, it doesn't appear to be a print date. This is recorded on a scotch tape. Here up this tape of Cinderella. Next tape we have here is a dinosaur, the MTHX. Here's the spine. Package. It's a little treat for kids and adults alike by David Shane of CBS TV. Tape with an ink label. Print date is December 13, 2000. This is actually an early printing. This is actually 2001 VHS. Okay. Put this picture of dinosaur. Next up, we have a uh, DuckTales the movie trailer for the Lost Boy. Spine. The bag, it says, Fine Feather Fantasy, the enemies in the car are, are pure Disney by New York Hughes Day. Yeah. And strangely enough, this tape has an ink label on the print date is December 11th, 2000. So this is actually a much later printing as this tape is actually from, from, from 1991. And the most prints in that year have, have vertical sticker labels. Yeah, just a, just a duck tail of the movie. Next up, we got a uh, Dumbo the What's the Master Question VHS. That spine in the bag it says uh, film you'll never forget by the New York Times. Wait, so you got the ink label. The print date is uh, May 16th, 1995. Yeah. There goes the VHS of Dumbo. Next up, we got uh, the Emperor's New Groove, which is certified. And somebody by the name of Nair, I was like, used to own this tape. What's oh, mine now? Spine, the back says, Grievous Hamid's Trips into Latin by USA Today. Who would sing his video featuring the song My Funny Friend at Media? It's been featured on the soundtrack. We've got an ink label and says, it says again, Nair. And the print date is April 10th, 2001. 
Anyway, here's a bit of a supply card. It says you can feel it out. You can want her to do the California Adventure. Yeah, so here this is just a, a the Emperor's new new groove. And next up we got uh, an extremely good movie, which we got the first good movie, but I'll show that show that soon because like I'm going in alphabetical order. Feel good, laugh long winner by Michael Trotman and Family USA magazine and got a kids goofy jokes bonus program thing. So we need a Angie Schnerl just on this tape, but it's mine now. Let's see what the name label print it is March 15th, 2000. They're gonna see if an extremely goofy movie. Next up, we got uh, Fantasia. This is a multi. 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 This is The ink label and the print it is a uh, July 11th, 1991. Mm. Anyway, put this off to the side. Next up, we got a uh, Antigua 2000. This is Tech certified. It's fine. At the back. Earth Two Kings One Entertainment by Roger. Ebert, she has a bunch of book on the art, music, and Donald G. Fantasia 2000. Ink label. Yeah, the <coughs> sorry, it's. <coughs> uh, sorry, it's neither. July 21st, 2000. And then here's like the little few new day corners to booklet. I'll just slip through here. That's mm -hmm. like there, there you go. That all the original stuff back in here. There you go. Just have anything to teach you to two thousand. And next up, we got uh, Finding Nemo. Well, there's a good film by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, which I do also have have this mo movie on, on DVD as well. Ears and Poison by Dan Zanetti's News Week, and here's the the like the big hard Nick Nick short film. The print date and cut ink label on blue lid. The print date is September 6, 2003. So we got this video of uh, Finding Nemo. Next up, we, I have uh, actually two copies of Fox and the Hound, which here's the first copy, which has the actual case and everything. Here's the spine. Back says, Superior uh, Landmark City Film Mitchell Seagull, Good Morning America. Let's see what the name label on the print is January 18th, 1974. Now here's this copy, which is, does not have the cover. Got the same label, but the print it is February eighth, nineteen ninety three, which is pretty weird. This is actually nineteen ninety four VHS. I'm guessing that's an, an error because we're just bringing this tape out of a review, but the return should far on it. Well, in this copy right here, it was printed on January eighteenth, nineteen ninety four. Doesn't have the block, have the return to far pre review before it. Well, this copy right here actually it does have the have the. Return to Far Preview, no, it says February 8th, 1993, which would be earlier than the copy's printing, but so I'm guessing maybe th th this actually was an error. So that's what I'm ju just go going for as, as the print date. Now, I'm probably going to have to stop here for, here for part one. I'll see you guys in part two coming soon.